Hello and welcome to the channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP. Today we are going to learn how we can configure an email server in ERP Next which will allow us to communicate with the outer world as well as between the ERP Next users of our site. The configuration is very easy and quick. Let us quickly have a glance at it. I am logged in as an administrator right now and what I have to do, I have to create a new user. So quickly go to the awesome bar and type user list. We will create a new user. Once we create new user, the user will receive welcome mail. From there itself, he or she can create the password to login into the site. Now the welcome mail is sent to the user. You can see the welcome mail received by the user and here she can create the password to login into website. I have created the password to login into the website. Now you can see I have logged into website as Manita Sharma. Only two tabs are available here. My account and logout. Since we have not assigned any role to Manita Sharma, I mean the user, that is why she is not able to see the desk view. By default, when we don't assign any role to the user, the system creates website user. That is why she is able to see only the website. Let's assign the roles to the user. I am creating sales user. So I am saving it. See it has changed as system user now. Now I will refresh this page and again see this switch to desk button is enabled. It will allow me to see the desk view. You can sync your email account with ERP Next in order to send and receive emails from ERP Next. We need to create a new email account for which we are generating the services. So we can use the awesome bar as well as we can use the settings buttons and there is email account. And now we can add new email account. Before creating an email account, we need an email domain. We can skip this step if we are using any one of the services listed here. Since I am configuring Gmail account, so I will use Gmail service. Once I click over here, all the settings of incoming and outgoing server will be here. It will come automatically. See. One more thing I need to tell you that Gmail will work only if we have Enable the two step authentication and we need to generate an app specific password. I will show you how it will be created. To enable the incoming, you need to check here. Once you check here, all the settings will come automatically here. If you want to create the contacts from the incoming emails, you simply check in this box. I have left this column blank, the password column, because I need to create app specific password, which I will creating here. I have done the two step verification. It is enabled here and now I will be creating the app password.
no i am submitting the password here and saving it it is showing that email inbox for user this is created you can see here let's check if our email is working or not i am logged in as manita sharma our user and now created a quotation which i want to send to my customer if you want to mark cc to your internal user who is also an erp user you can mark cc from here and here you can type the body simply can send if you want to send copy to yourself you can check here now see in the last of this document quotation it is showing that mail has been sent the status is changed as sent here now let's check if our customer and the internal user priya has received this mail or not our customer has received this mail from manita sharma and this was the document and the message we have typed here now let's check if priya nijavan the internal user of erp next has received this mail or not now priya nijavan has also received this mail now reply back to see if our incoming is working on manita sharma or not i will be sending one reply from the customer also so that if we should check if the mails from the outside world is receiving or not now as a customer i am replying back on this mail now let's check if the user manita sharma has received this mail or not we have received both the mails the mail from the customer and the internal user priya nejami so our scenario was working i hope you find this video helpful thank you thanks for watching our channel